close your eyes, watch your breath. Remind yourself of how important it is to be in touch with what's going on inside the body, inside the mind right now. After all, your life is shaped by your actions. Your actions are shaped by the quality of your mind. And the quality of the mind often has a lot to do with the, how, how your body is right now. Now you want the mind eventually to become independent, because the body is going to start doing some things if it already hasn't, doing some things that are going to be really difficult to deal with. But while the body is relatively comfortable, you want to gain some strength from the body, gain some comfort from the body, so the mind can have some strength. We come into life dependent on our parents, dependent on the people around us. But as time passes, we find that more and more we have to learn how to depend on ourselves. And so we have to learn, to learn how to strengthen ourselves so we can stand on our own two feet and not be constantly trying to lean on somebody else. So you stand on your own two feet by knowing yourself really well. And how do you know yourself? You watch yourself in the present moment. Because that's where all your choices are being made. You can remember past choices and you can anticipate future ones. But to see exactly how the process goes and how it is that the mind sometimes acts on intentions that are not all that skillful, that's something you have to see in the present. So watch yourself right here. And as you're watching yourself, it's good to have a good, comfortable place to stay, otherwise you're not going to want to stay. You want to wander off and think about something else. So make the breath comfortable. Try to figure out which way of breathing, which way of thinking of the breath energy in the body is most nourishing right now. And then watch. See what the mind is about to do. In the very beginning, you don't want to follow it at all, but you'll notice that there are times when it slips out anyhow. But if you get to say no, no, no again and again, you get quicker and quicker at seeing what the steps are, how the mind fools itself into thinking about something that it knows it shouldn't. But you also learn how to put a stop to it. That way you can begin to depend on yourself. You have to watch yourself carefully, because nobody else can watch inside your mind for you, even people who can read your minds. They have no power to tell you what to do. You're the one who makes the decision. So give yourself the right conditions, strengthen the mind so the decisions are right. That way you have the strength to stand on your own two feet.